Okay. We'll try. We get distracted. Or just stop. I think this is my third offense at, at this. Third try. Third offense. Anyway, let's talk about what happened uh, last week and the week before about Alan Poltres. Elias Chicky. Alan Poltres Jr. The chief of St. Mary's First Nation. All right. Now, personally, I have nothing against Chicky. I mean, Chicky always distanced himself from me. From me. Uh, we never sat down for an interview. He's not the type to sit down and, you know, uh, discuss issues. He always, I, he never came out of his way to, uh, to talk to me about issues or whatever. But anyway, we know what happened when he was charged with assault and sexual assault and he was supposed to show up in court it was on the docket supposed to show up in court on a Friday morning he did it uh, once I made it public they switch it he sneak in there on a Thursday morning lawyer TJ Burt and it was held up till October 8 hey, October 15 now, why would I make a big deal out of this? Well, number one, he's the chief. St. Mary's chief. Uh, calls himself Two-Spirit, native chief, openly gay. And when I, see, as a blogger, I hear stories. Now, I hear stories about uh, politicians all the time. There's one, I won't mention any name. Uh, it was a bad drunk bad bad drunk in the club and when you're a pub public figure and be drunk in public I'm concerned there should be a concern even me I might decide to be I am a public figure and that public pain in the ass but you know if I uh, if I do something cross the line bingo but anyway focus then I hear the stories of Chicky being drunk at Dooley's I said to myself, drunk at Dooley's? Number one, what, what would he be doing at Dooley's? You think being gay, he would be at, at the boom. But that's the story I hear that he was thrown out of Dooley's, drunk up. Now, we all hear the term, uh, the Western always played the part, the drunken Indian. You know, the drunken Indian. And you know, people try, to, even the natives try to say, hey, you know, we try to uh, go past that. But him, native, and drunk in public, that's not a good thing. So, the story was, it's female native, and three other people offer to drive him home. Get it, get him out of there and while on on the way home supposedly he grabbed her private part and uh, next thing you know she charged him now two things here uh, number one when this came out at the general annual meeting of the natives, First Nation, First, is First Nation no, Assembly, no, we're, we're seeing what, you what were they supposed to do? They were supposed to hit the ladies, the girls, hit the drums. He decided, the chief said that she wasn't allowed to hit the drums with, with her group because of this. Now, right off the bat, that puts the red flag up. I mean, to say, no, no, since you put a charge against me, you will not be allowed to practice your culture at the, the huge annual General Assembly. And he wasn't allowed to speak from the, from the uh, podium. They had a meeting. He, was, he welcomed everybody to the, assemb everybody in the assembly to Fredericton, but from the floor. Now, the prosecutor, they said, okay, they said to her, the victim, so-called victim, we can't charge, you, charge him with sexual assault because if a man grabs a woman 
by the private part and she has her clothes on, it's not sexual assault. I said, oh boy, this is going to go across Canada. Prosecutor, the Attorney General Office in New Brunswick. Hello, how you doing? Good, Charles. Doing good. He's going to receive a lot. She's, she's going to receive a lot of phone calls. And, you know, there's going to be trouble here. So that was it there. Now, the story was out. And Chicky, no comments. I mean, there, there was nothing from him. Absolutely nothing. And next thing you know, I'm not on his Facebook. He blocked me. He blocked me uh, when he got chief. I mean, uh, I don't see his, his, his stuff. Somebody showed me this. There he was on Facebook. Not one, one word about this shameful episode. And then he goes, Hi, Facebook friends. Hello, Internet. Oh, welcome to the gas bar. Oh, it's so the bike. Oh, please come at the gas bar in St. Mary's, our new gas bar. So see you later, Facebook and Internet. All happy life. But not one word about what's been going on. Now, Came to an agreement with the prosecutor on a diversion, diversion charge? I looked it up last night over the internet. This is offered to somebody that's a first offense. Jakey was his first offense. But it says it's like pretty stuff, like uh, shoplifting or uh, stealing or, you know, little stuff. And if you, there are 20 hours of community work, and you don't have a record and everything is uh, will be forgotten so it doesn't say sexual assault you could be reach a deal on a diversion plan for sexual assault it doesn't say that so there's a lot of questions here there's a many, many, many unanswered questions. And I think the concern, I think it's hot. I think the public should be concerned. And there's, there's a problem. There's a problem when they say, oh, the missus, uh, missing female natives, I can't say the word, going around across the country and get information, but something get stories, but something like this happens and the female natives becomes, she's the victim, so-called victim, but she becomes really the victim uh, when she press charge. There's something wrong. So if I was Chicky, I would really address this issue head on because this is dividing St. Mary's big time. And to divide St. Mary's in a situation, like in, in a period where it has to be united. Chicky is not doing a favor and he should go to the public. If it's true, he was drunk in public. Shame on him. Seek help. You got mental issues. Seek help. And ask the people for, you know, for you're sorry for the forgiveness and move on and then everybody will be happy but the way things are going now there's too many un unanswered questions way too many